Hello, I'm Eli from Secret Mode, and today we are designing a Halloween themed Wobble Dogs room. I start off by going through all of the different wallpapers that I have unlocked, and in the end, I start with this graveyard one. I just really love the design, the fences, the trees. Uh, and now I'm doing the same with the floor, however, it does change throughout the video because I could not make my mind up. But we start off with this orange and black one. I'm just laying out the items that I think fit the Halloween theme that I have unlocked uh, just to see what we're working with. Uh, there's a lot of purples in there, as you can see, uh, and they're all covered in cobwebs, which is really cool. Uh, of course, I forgot one of the most key items for Halloween, a pumpkin, and uh, there I go changing the floor. Um, here we are just rearranging some of the items into positions that I, I think fit where they would go. Uh, before sectioning off the room with this fence. Um, there is a gap at the end so the dogs can get through because they can't actually go through the gate. And I changed the floor because I didn't think the, the black floor on the black fence worked very well. Uh, and now I'm just placing a lot of pumpkins out the front. It's a little bit like a pumpkin patch. It's really cute and I've used the uh, size up and down tool by, with my mouse wheel so you get a good variation in sizes. I'm doing the same here with the food dispenser while I make a little corner for it before adding in these castle balls which aren't necessarily uh, Halloween but I feel like they match the colour scheme with the, the dark walls and the cracks in them and I actually ended up using those to section off the food dispensers. Just moving along the fence so the gap is in the middle make it more accessible for the dogs uh, and to view things before I added in a little graveyard area with these decoration tombstones, um, which I think they're really cute. I love I love the candles on everything as well. Uh, here we are just making a reading nook. Maybe the dogs are researching, maybe they're researching werewolves or vampires, or maybe they're just having a good old read. Um, and I'm just partitioning off the gravestones so they have their own little area and adding in some flowers that will grow in live mode so they it will look really pretty before deciding where I want my dogs to build their den. Here I'm just adding in some Halloween themed toys for my dogs to play with so we've got a wooden stake by the research area, a mummy hand on one of the graves and these crosses also by the graves. Uh, it's got some mushrooms there. Uh, here I decided I actually had one of my dogs had passed. Dear old Randy had passed so I decided to remove one of the decor gravestones and replace it with his before summoning him so he can check out the room. Hello there Randy. Uh, let's see what some alive dogs think of it. So I added in Floof who has some brilliant wings and some lovely ears that I think look like uh, horns and Tremendous is also there. Randy has eaten one of the crosses, obviously he loves that. And Randy and Floof having a little fun here. Even though Floof can fly themselves, Randy still decided to make the love to hate her. Have some garlic. Lovely breath smell. Um, Tremendous seems to really enjoy the pumpkin patch area, which is really, really cute. Um, well done for sneezing, bless you. <laughs> and Floof take a little nap by the graveyards. I suppose it is nice and quiet in this area. You can see the plants growing there. They're really, really blooming very nicely. So yeah, I think I think Floof would tremendous love the room. Look at them having a little fly around and here's a little overview of the room. Thank you for watching.